Hello world, coming to you today just to talk about what's on my heart. Okay, so in Luke chapter 13, we find a woman who was uh, disabled for 18 years of her life. She couldn't stand up straight. She couldn't, she was in, for 18 years of her life, I can't even imagine. Jesus comes and he heals her immediately. He lays hands on her and she is immediately healed. And then what happens? Some rulers of the synagogue get mad and say, it's the Sabbath day, you're not supposed to be healing anybody because that's working. You're not supposed to work on the Sabbath day. Hold that thought. Now let's go to John chapter five. In John chapter five, there is a man who has been paralyzed. He cannot walk. He can't walk for 38 years. For 38 years. 38 years. I'm not even, I'm 34. About to be 35 in February. 38 years. That's a long time. Could not walk. Jesus tells him, take up his bed and walk. And he was completely healed. Grabbed his bed, started walking. And the people were like, what are you doing carrying your bed? You're, you're not supposed to be doing any type of work on the Sabbath day. He's like, oh, well, this guy just healed me. And so, and he told me to pick up, take up my bed and walk. And then they're like, oh, where is this guy? Because this, he's not following the rules. Why am I talking about this? Because there was supernatural healings taking place, miracles taking place, undeniable miracles taking place, and people were focused on traditions, they are focused on religion, they are focused on all these other things, and so many times we get people that refuse to see the working of God and wants to see the tradition of the world. They want to see the things that they are used to, that they are comfortable with, and they will ignore what God is doing just so they can stay in their comfort. Just so that they can stay in the world that they have built for themselves. Because they don't want, they don't want that spiritual. They don't want that deliverance. They want the comfort of their world. But I'm encouraging you today that when the opportunity comes, for healing, when the opportunity comes to pray for someone, you do what you gotta do, and you go ahead, and you be a witness, you be an example, and don't worry about these other people, don't let these other people in, uh, discourage you, because they are not looking at the kingdom the way that you look at the kingdom. They see the kingdom in rules and regulations, but we see the kingdom as life. Amen? Amen.